<laughs> uh, um, hey, there's a neat uh, guy named Big Head Taco. I don't know why he called himself that, but he's interviewing uh, another Asian guy um, and his lens collection. I'll uh, put the link to the video below. I think it's a really cool video. <laughs> a really cool video. The guy collects old lenses. He's got a small fortune in lenses, kind of like me. And uh, kind of ama <laughs> kind of amazingly in the video, like around the 16 minute mark, he asked the guy something about new lenses, and he basically says something like they have no soul, but he specifically uses the word flat. I flat meaning that they render flat. Gee, who's been saying that 10,000 times over and over and over again? Some of the old lenses that the guy collects, and he's got a Flickr account, and you can check out in this video his Flickr account with these uh, funky, these freaky deaky old lenses. Um, he scans them in. He does both digital and film. And uh, he's showing a big head taco, whatever his name is. I forget what his real name is. Excuse me, I can't remember names. And one of his lenses is about yay big and about like that. It's an old uh, 8x10 lens. And so he collects all sorts of freaky deaky lenses. And, you know, he loves the fact that, uh, and he understands, just by listening to the guy, he understands that which I've told you also. Except he expresses it in a different way. You know, um, he yeah, doesn't talk about this specifically, but you have to understand that when it comes to photography, and we just take a look at the camera only, and whether that's film or whether that's digital, but specifically digital, there is a technology that exists here on the camera, and then there's another technology that exists up here. But the technology that exists in the lens is of two different varieties. One is technical and one is optical. And when it comes to divine prime lenses, it's about the rendering. Optics have really, uh, for prime lenses at uh, 28 or 35 millimeters and above, they have really remained unperfect. You cannot reinvent the damn wheel. You can't reinvent the wheel. The wheel cannot be reinvented. We have lenses that are sharper, better corner to corner, but if you bleach everything out of there, you know, it's the same reason why, like, Wonder Bread tastes. You know, modern lenses are exactly like this. They're like Wonder Bread, which I don't even like bread at all, believe it or not. You know, you, every slice is just a blah piece of poo. And then you get that home-baked piece of bread that uh, is crusty and it's beautiful. And I don't even like bread, but when it comes to like a home loaf or like a designer French loaf of bread, you know, eating a piece of that is divine. And that's kind of what these old uh, prime lenses are like. They are absolutely unique. They, they render light in a beautiful way that nothing today can, except there are people are starting to catch on like this. It's the most boring image in the world, but it's not about the image. It's about the fact that it has a soap bubble bokeh. You know, this, people will pay a, a, excuse my language, people will pay a shitload for a lens that will do this. The only problem is that modern lenses don't do this shit. Meyer Optic Gerlitz, okay, realizes this fact. People are starting to rediscover um, old lenses and the fact that, like, I want to make this image. I have people ask me, it's like, I look at some of these famous old photographers, I don't know how the hell they get those those images, the bouquet, out of there. I don't know how. You know, I've got no lens that could do that. So you're right. Those lenses don't exist anymore. Photography is and will undergo a revolution. It is starting right now where people are sick and effing, effing tired of cookie cutter Wonder Bread lenses. They want, because this is an art form, bitches. I hate to let you know this. Now, everybody can sit there and measure bait all they want about resolution and uh, lines per millimeter and uh, vignetting and chromatic. Photography is an art form, bitches, okay? People want this shit. And the current lens manufacturers don't make this shit. They don't make it. I had to cuss then. Cussing was necessary. Sorry about that for anybody with sensitive little moral ears that, you know... They think they're going to go to hell if they hear a cuss word. I, I, I actually, I have like that much tolerance for people that like, Oh my God, I heard a curse word. You hurt my brain. <laughs> Shut the hell up. <laughs> okay. You know, grow a pair, why don't you? People want this. Okay? The only problem is, 
is like unlike microbreweries where you could uh, actually, um, you know, for a thousand bucks you could start brewing your own brew, right? You can't do that with lenses because it takes a lot of money to make lenses. A lot of money. A lot of money. But Meyer Optic Gurlitz and uh, there's one other company, I forget who, are starting to reproduce these awesome old lenses because people want this. And Nikon ain't delivering it. Fuji ain't delivering it. Canon isn't delivering it. Nobody's delivering it. They want this. Okay? There is a demand and it is growing. And the supply is ever shrinking. And that are, is a force that will not tolerate be tolerated for when there's huge demand and negative supply things will snap like a cracker and I'm starting to see that happen I need to go over this in another video separately but check out the video uh, below um, link to Big Head Taco interviewing uh, uh, the Asian guy sorry I, I don't know I remember what his name is but he's like a lens collector and he starts talking about his admi admiration for old lenses and it ain't about like having nostalgia. I have no nostalgia or antique interest in old lenses or like radioactive lens. It ain't about that. It's not like someone's in love with old junk. Like people that love antiques. I don't suffer that kind of crazy ass fetish. It is not about the old lenses. It's about rendering the image. It's about something unique that does not exist today anymore. Okay? It's not about like, oh, that dude loves old lenses. No, I like lenses that, you, that render the light in a very beautiful way. Because believe it or not, photography is still an effing art form. Okay, It is not the land of the measure baiters. It is the land of the people that like interesting, fascinating, artistic images that cannot be reproduced today with modern lenses. Okay, Check out the video link below from Big Head Taco Dude. And um, I guess that's it. Bye.